All right, let's get into it, man. Soaking in realizations, the power of the moment, and the power of pacing yourself. Let's get into it. So there'll be times when you may have a very impactful realization, whether internally, because you was thinking about something or pondering on something, and then due to that pondering, it led you to an impactful realization. Or if it was externally, you know, something in the external made you react and in turn gave you an impactful realization on something, right? Um, sometimes through synchronicities of spirit trying to tell you something or to make you realize something, you know, so when these realizations occur or come to you, a lot of times, most humans will just let it go in one spiritual ear and out the other spiritual ear, AKA they'll realize something for like a split moment or a split second, but then they'll get distracted by something else. And that realization completely gets put in, in the back end, somewhere in the back of your subconscious and then over time you forget what the fuck the realization was. And that was, and, and a lot of times that's just spirit trying to get you to realize something or tell you something, but you completely blocked it out. You might've gotten distracted by some bullshit in the external, or you might've got distracted by your own internal and your own chaotic thoughts and feelings that you probably can't control, you feel me? So now like Uriel would say, you know, um, we're only telling you what you already know, but you know, in this lifetime, taking this vessel and taking this awareness for the moment, obviously, you know, you had to forget and lose yourself in order to find more of yourself, right? So we could take whatever we learn and experience here back to our four, fifth and sixth dimensional vessel. Um, but see here now, now when now whenever we do get these realizations though, and we just completely brush it to the side, this is how spiritual reminders sometimes become a thing when you don't fully soak in what you first realized at that moment. Or you could play out this same exact action over and over again. So every time spirit tries to get you to realize something and and to remind you about that realization, you never fully soak it in because you probably lack a lot of focus. Watch my video titled, The Power of Focus. You lack being in the moment as well. You probably always in the past or the future, you're not in the moment and paying attention to that realization. Or you could be in the moment, but you're too distracted by the moment, whether it's something in the external or some other thoughts and feelings that, are, that you are conflicted with and that you let these things overtake the realization. So yeah, sometimes delaying the realization will play out as something subconsciously bothering you or feeling like you missing something but don't know what or why because you forgot over time the initial realization and instead of having a chance to soak it in and ponder on it and really get a feel for it and pay attention to it for that moment, you probably lost it, like I said, due to lack of focus on it. You feel me? Like you're too easily distracted by shit and you're not in tuned enough with your spirit to see what the fuck is trying to tell you. So yeah, if you get distracted, you're delaying your growth by delaying the realization that might fade away into the subconscious before you actually get the chance to fully soak it in. This prevents the full transformation of you and now you get pent up sub subconscious energy that you didn't allow to be fully realized in order to move on and let go. Your spirit trying to tell you something. Will you listen now or later? This is how we got a lot of humans um, frustrate themselves and they all do it to themselves. It's all self-inflicted. You put yourself in that hell because sometimes we be like, we be so lost in the sauce of life or in our own world internally that um, we don't we don't know how to have discernment and def deficient, I think that's the word, de deficient. I don't know, I don't know how to say that word. But we don't know how to separate what is the real the, the realizations we need to focus on and look at that spirit is trying to tell us we don't know how to separate that shit from all the chaotic demonic frequencies and vibrations that y'all be lost in that ain't really your thoughts and feelings in the first place you feel me <clears throat>
It's some deep, esoteric, internal shadow work type shit. You feel me? You ain't gonna really understand if you don't actually experience these energies. You feel me? Because I'm sure plenty of times in y'all lives you've had those moments where you realize some shit and it was something you knew you had to look at, but you just didn't spend enough time to actually fully take it in. You just realized it real quick. And, you, and, and a lot of people be in an anxious rush. A lot of people just be rushing through life. So they'd be like, oh, look, I realized something. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and now folk do, go do some other random shit. But now that I have this realization, it will help me in life. But then they end up forgetting it because <laughs> they didn't just sit there and fully analyze it. You feel me? So they, they, didn't fully, they didn't understand it enough. You feel me? They probably only got like a slight idea or a slight percentage level of the realization. But didn't didn't actually sit there to actually soak it in. So this is this is important, y'all. Like whenever you get these realizations that that may feel like it's something you really got to pay attention to or it makes sense like from a mental perspective that is something you really got to pay attention to because it's important uh whatever it is that 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 may uh apply to your life because remember everybody's different everybody got different lives different paths we all going to get different realizations that are different in the levels and degrees or the percentage levels of how impactful these realizations are right so when you but when you get those you know what i'm talking about when it's a, when you get those realizations you gotta stop whatever you are doing and soak it in because that shit is important you might be co constantly always you might be the type of spirit who's constantly always trying to figure out what to do next or or you might be addicted to consuming shit and paying attention to shit just tiring out your mind um and then, that, and then that's how you also give yourselves headaches and shit. Y'all may be so lost in the sauce of life that y'all don't even know that the answers y'all be looking for when, when y'all be confused and wondering how to go about life. The answers y'all be looking for, sometimes it just, it be right under your noses. And all you had to do was sit there and clear your mind, gain some clairvoyance, and actually be open to what spirit is trying to tell y'all or what the universe is trying to tell y'all if you're more scientific with it. Or what God is trying to tell y'all if you more motherfucking uh, relig religious with it. <laughs> you feel me, real shit? Like, y'all y'all be like, y'all be going rushing through. And, and it's not entirely y'all faults because the, the shadow government program y'all to be like that. But like, this is, see, this is why I put the power of pacing yourself and the power of the moment on this shit. And, and, and I also put soaking in realizations because sometimes bro you gotta slow down like slow and steady wins the marathon because this life ain't no sprint race you know it's it's about endurance you know how much energy and spiritual stamina do you got to run this life that we call it uh, or run this marathon of life you feel me so the power of the moment and the power of pacing yourself is important because in order to even come to the moment and even in order to even come to the present moment you got to slow the f you because you're running fast through life. You're probably in a in an in a anxious rush, always thinking about the future, always um, being pressured by your past, never in the moment, in the present. So. So. Um, um, damn, what was I going to say? Ooh, I had a, I had a. Oh, yeah. So. So then you running through life, right? In an anxious rush. But you don't even realize you be running past certain realize like this is your spirit and then this is you running and you go Shoom! and you're like and your spirit's like hey wait hold on I, I know a shortcut where you go i got some good information for you. you you never go back so he's like damn let me try to catch him at another at another point and then you there's a whole another a whole another area right now spirit's like hey how you slow down slow down i gotta tell you something you just go Shoom! And, then, and, then, and then the spirit's like oh fuck this nigga don't let this spirit don't listen god damn it and they can't do shit because you got free will and shit right so Pretty much what I'm trying to say is sometimes, bro, you got to learn how to do this. Hey, don't run past me this time. Slow down. Slow down. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, what's up, Spirit? Yo, yo I got to tell you some shit, bro. Like, look, this information is going to help you on the rest of your marathon. Look, and also, here's some, here's some fucking water, too, because you, you look you look tired as fuck. You be tiring out your mind, always running fast in your mind and shit. But let me just, just slow down, though, because, you know, this is, a, this, this, this life is a fucking 
marathon. It ain't no goddamn sprint. It ain't no race. You, you gotta pace yourself. And and and, and oh, um, let me give you this real this realization and this realization and this idea and that thought and this feeling and let me give it to you so it could help you in this situation in your life and in in that specific sh uh, type of thing you're going through in your life. And bro, you gonna get way more information from that motherfucker than you constantly being on the internet searching for motherfuckers to give you insight. I'm telling y'all right now, you ain't gonna learn more than from from you're gonna learn way more i always say this you're gonna learn way more from life and your own spirit directly before anybody else in the external because anybody anybody else in the external is not you so in order to fully soak in a realization in order to actually be in the power of the moment you gotta learn the power of pacing yourself because you can't hold you you can't stand still in a particular moment if you don't stop running you feel me it even plays out physically in the 3d um or when you're reading something you can't skim through it you gotta read it. this is why you this is see this is why motherfuckers just be regurgitating shit and don't even know what the fuck they be preaching or reading and studying because they're just skimming through the fucking words they're not actually understanding comprehending and taking their time reading shit to learn what the fuck the author actually means it's the same shit with that so this is why it's so important to pace yourself through life and to slow down motherfucker you can't i think motherfuckers be like so anxious into trying to do as much as they can so they can achieve whatever the fuck they lost in because you know they know that oh, we ain't gonna be here forever but see and a lot of motherfuckers be scared and not spiritual enough to know motherfucker you already been here forever you see what i'm saying like y'all my y'all spirits oh i'm on fire right now but anyway so yeah y'all gotta learn how to whenever you get a, a a realization that comes across to your mind man pay attention to that shit stop ignoring your spirit stop whatever the fuck you would do i don't care if you in the middle of a conversation you tune out of that conversation and just tell the other person hold on wait a minute hold on something just came to my mind i do that sometimes you tune that motherfucker out and you pay attention to what spirit is trying to get you to realize and understand this is how you build intuition energy as well it's how motherfuckers um, who are real spiritually in tune can can be like semi psychic and shit because they can they can they, they just know how to tune into that energy. You feel me? Like I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain that with y'all limited language and words. That's that's the furthest I'm gonna go with that. But like like Peace Dealer be saying pow powers and shit, but not in the way y'all be thinking powers and shit like Marvel characters and shit like that. No. I mean powers that you already have like your all like five senses the five senses are powers we're just evolving as humans and learning more shit y'all you feel me so so look don't when that, and you stop whatever the fuck you are doing and you don't get distracted don't get distracted and prevent the opportunity to soak it in what it is you got to catch at that moment that spirit threw at you you feel me because if you don't stop whatever you're doing to fully soak it in, you won't fully get it and you won't be able to actually apply it moving forward in your life efficiently. You feel me? God damn, this is, this is some deep shit. Real shit, though. Hold up. God damn. I'm ch channeling right now. Even though I got notes. I be channeling most of this shit though. The notes just help me remind, just remind me of the points. You feel me? So it's not really like detailed ass notes. Sometimes it is, but but I be just channeling most of the time. That takes focus. Like I said, watch my video called "The Power of Focus." Can't be mentally lazy. You feel me? You gotta, in order to build a strong mind, you gotta learn how to you know focus it's like um my one video called why spirits have a short attention span they didn't work out their mind enough you feel me they got weak they got narrow frequency intake they don't got a wide frequency intake like i said in that video you could watch that for more context behind that let's see what other notes i got here oh yeah this video also correlates to my video called impactful realizations and spiritual reminders so for more insight be behind those type of energies and more context behind that shit you can go watch that all right 
So look, pay attention to the moment. The power of focus is important. You will need that as well. You will be able to tune into spirit and catch more synchronicities to communicate with spirit as well. So it's going to help you develop your connection and intuition to spirit. And that way you can catch even more synchronicities, whether it's trying to tell you something internally or externally. You feel me? You'll just be that in tune. You'll be in a whole nother frequency vibration, a whole new level of being and, and going about shit. Uh, your awareness will be on some super saiyan shit. It's like... Um, like think of like a lot of the more lost a human is the more the, the the more distant they are from their spirit and the more uh the less clear their signal is look at it like a signal like on a radio when you t when you tune the dial and shit or or depending on how far you are from that radio station broadcasting that 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 radio station um it's going to determine how clear it is you feel me so if you tune into a radio station that's like a hundred miles away and it's very staticky and you could barely hear that shit um it's because you're not in tuned enough or aka close enough to your spirit and actually giving it attention and 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 actually uh being accountable as a spirit to and taking it serious you kind of like ignoring the shit in a way um so you drive further and further away from that radio station and the connection between you and your spirit becomes distorted now you can't you can barely get any messages but at the but if you actually take it serious and you was to drive towards the radio station and get a more clear connection you'll be able to get crispy clear radio signal to hear whatever the fuck or to catch whatever the fuck it is that spirit be trying to tell your ass real shit at work like that i don't give a fuck what anybody say this is shit people can it can people I, I know plenty of motherfuckers who will vouch for me on that shit i ain't the only one this is how this shit go a lot of a lot of humans don't really be taking this shit serious and that's why they frustrate themselves or put themselves in their own little hell or whatever the fuck their state of being be fucked up they be paying attention to shit that matters none a real spirit I ain't human. I ain't, I ain't human. Don't call me human. Shout out Dolo the fucking pilot, man. Don't call don't call niggas like us human. I ain't no goddamn human. I see what the how the common human behave and act. You feel me? I ain't no goddamn human. Whatever is considered normal here, yeah, that's that's just y'all. <laughs> I am not from this motherfucker. I'm just here visiting, bitch. <laughs> I'm just here for a little little visit, little vacation on Earth, see how fucked up it is real quick, then dip. That's it. That's it. It don't go no further. Alright. So check it out. Cause a lot of spirits are subconsciously addicted to over consuming and distracting themselves without even realizing it. Y'all under a whole bunch of witch witchcraft and spells that the shadow government done programmed y'all to be lost in. They've done made the common man and woman, you know, real petty, real mentally lazy for some reason. Um, <laughs> just egotistical too, you know, feeding the ego and all, all types of shit. They, they got y'all humans fucked up. <laughs> like y'all, all y'all have mental illnesses. <laughs> Every single one of y'all got a mental illness. <laughs> Shout out to 0.1% though. We just here chilling. We just here chilling. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, let me see. So yeah, a lot of spirits are addicted to escapism from the moment to continue a self-inflicted hell of distract distractions until they realize that's what they are doing to themselves. So you got to realize that you don't let yourself fully realize shit and fully soak in shit let let this be a gift from my spirit to your spirit here if you didn't know before if you couldn't if you if you were having that issue and you was and you was semi aware of it but not fully aware of it because you kept brushing it off let me be used as the vessel to remind your ass for the final fucking time pay attention to realizations when they come bitch don't get addicted and escape and escapism and trying to 
get away from the moment. You should be in tune to the moment already any fucking way. I don't know why y'all be slacking that spirits. The moment holds all the answers and keys. Why y'all think Fulcrum be, be, be always saying that shit? That's the only shit that nigga be saying. But that's all he gotta say. Real fucking shit. Real fucking shit. That's, that's all you gotta say. Real shit. Shout out that nigga. Anyway. Mm. So yeah. Um, slow and steady wins the marathon. Um, the power of pacing yourself allows you to flow and experience life at your own pace so you don't got to rush through shit and it'd be happening in real life too like y'all be going through experiences and kind of rushing through the experience or the moment like sometimes y'all just want to get shit over with but sometimes you got to slow down and really pay attention to the moment sometimes some of y'all be having like preset preset mentalities or, or or preset awarenesses on how to go about shit and you use that same awareness for every single moment like a robot when you're supposed to go with the flow of life slow down pace yourself soak in the moment and actually pay attention to what's going on some of y'all be this is how some of y'all are unrelatable because some of y'all be going into sh like connections or or conversations with other motherfuckers with a preset mind frame that um pretty much just makes you not genuine because that just shows that that you you kind of pre-program yourself to go about relating instead of being open to the moment to see how a motherfucker is in the even in the first place you feel me you can't relate efficiently if you're not open to the moment to see how the other side is interacting with you you ain't even genuine if you can't do that if you always got to go into every interaction with like okay okay since the last interaction they didn't like they didn't like this and that about me so let me go ahead and 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 and, and be like this now for now on since because that one subjective spirit with their own little opinion of me it, it was this towards me so now i'm gonna use that to to to, to be like this now every time i go across some some this somebody else or a certain situation and then y'all and then y'all keep doing that shit and, and then after each situation you you just change to a whole nother lostness so, and, and and then that one doesn't work and you're like oh shit that person didn't really react well to that okay let me change to this situation <laughs> without even knowing like yo you just you just supposed to be present nigga. you ain't even supposed to be having all those thoughts and feelings all these preconditioned pre-programmed predetermined mentalities and shit like y'all y'all humans are be robots <laughs> y'all not so i'm a that's coming from a mercury baby don't don't let the mercury baby be more human and genuine or or spiritual in the moment than you come on now oh, i'm a mercury baby that's, that's why i could talk about this shit like this y'all don't understand <laughs> real shit real shit stop being a robot just be in the moment motherfucker damn y'all y'all be trying to, and then and then that and then spirits with a spiritual spidey sense we could sniff that shit we'd be smelling that shit like like something off about this nigga why he trying so hard you feel me <laughs> real shit real shit hold up mm -mm -mm. Because when you slow down, you're able to take in moments more effectively and realize more within each moment by being present. So sometimes y'all don't even realize that you trying to rush or force a certain outcome or expectation in every moment that you go through in life. Y'all don't even realize that if you were to just slow down and soak in the moment with from a from a neutral enlightened perspective of not of, with no mental bias or no mental illness attached to it or no previous baggage attached to that clear clairvoyant state of being you'll be able to realize in each moment you'll be able to even learn more because you're actually paying attention to what is happening you feel me you'll be able to learn even more about yourself and, and shit like that and and more about life but a lot of motherfuckers be too uh, what's that word oh yeah insecure so they don't want they're, they don't they're not comfortable with being vulnerable to the moment like that you feel me they always that's why they put themselves in them pre preconditioned predetermined um states of beings and mentalities uh so they because they feel like they got to be a certain way in every moment when you're supposed to be fluid as a spirit and change how your state of being and how you are is to a certain degree according to whatever it is you're interacting with and responding to at the moment it's like the sun and moon working together your sun sign and your moon sign working together along with the ascendant helping uh playing a playing its part as well from a astrology perspective you feel me 
That's why the, vi the yin realm or the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension is more fluid, is more vibrational, is, is more reactionary, you feel me? It's the relating, the relatability of shit, you feel me? Like, so. Now, not only that, but the power of the moment lets you be productive and it makes you say, fuck the past and the future, aka fuck previous mistakes or regret regrets I may have and fuck any expectation or outcome. I just want to be in the moment living life. Real fucking shit. God damn. God damn. Damn. Let me tell y'all one more time. You shouldn't try to replicate situations that haven't happened yet in your head. You got to play out these things in real life with no predetermined uh, mentality or expectation. And then the more you do this, the more you learn to go with the flow better and not over force things for certain outcomes. Real fucking shit. Real fucking shit. This is a real ass. What is this podcast? One one one. Oh shit. We on podcast one one one. Oh, let me do that again. One one one. Yeah. Podcast triple one. Y'all love them triple numbers. I only like the triple three because that's that's the energy of three. You feel me? That's the time I was born. Three thirty three a.m. on a Wednesday. Let's go. I'm a Mercury baby for real. I was born on a Wednesday. I'm smart as fuck. <laughs> All right. So now that you have the power, now that you have the power of pacing yourself and using that to achieve the power of the, to be in the power of the moment and allowing that to achieve the ability for you to fully soak in realizations, you are now able to enjoy life more and not be in a subconscious anxious rush and when you enjoy life you manifest more of that energy watch my video called why the world is in an anxious rush if you want more context behind that energy and shit i think that's all i had to say y'all peace <laughs>